A good Sunday morning to everyone. Thank you for joining us. Today we're on the road with the followers of Jesus as they make their way to Emmaus. It's interesting that Jesus meets them where they are. Christ meets us where we are and engages us in grappling with an understanding of who he is. This self-imposed stay-at-home order offers us an opportunity to deepen our relationship with Jesus. One of the first instructions that we received in higher education by a number of our teachers was the famous philosophical phrase from the great Greek philosopher Socrates, know thyself. Through my studies, I have come to understand that we can never fully know ourselves if we do not know Jesus. There are those that consider Jesus to be a prophet who received a prophet's reward being crucified for challenging people to live the right path. Others saw him as a failed revolutionary whose leadership led to his punishment, a criminal's death on the cross. In our own lives, we often want to make Jesus who we want him to be, but we can never know him apart from sacred scriptures. Jesus himself uses the scriptures to help the disciples to see that he's the fulfillment of the promises made to God's people. Scripture opens our minds and hearts to understand God's presence among us. On our journey through life, we must ask the question, Lord, what do you want from me? How can I be an instrument of your presence in this world? Asking these questions, we must be prepared for God's answer, not as we would desire, but as it reflects God's love and presence through us. When a friendship is created, we want to fill ourselves with our friend, take in the wisdom, share the stories, and embrace a future. The disciples did not want to let go of Jesus. They invited him to dine with them. They wanted to fill themselves with this new friend. It was in the breaking of the bread that they came to know that Jesus is given to them that as the bread of life, he satisfies their every longing and is with them always. Now it becomes their task to spread the news, to proclaim his life and to reach out as other Christs in a world in need. During this pandemic, as we feel the emptiness of our churches and the lack of the reception of his body and blood, let us ask God, what do you want from me at this time? And how can I be an instrument of your presence? Let me never take for granted that you are there for me and offer yourself for my salvation. Thank you for joining us. Stay safe, healthy, and holy. God bless you.